Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we're going to wrap up our study of the book of Galatians. A number of years ago, a friend said, Nat, I wish I would have read the book of Galatians at the beginning of my faith. The version of Christianity I was taught was grace plus works. I thought I had to keep the law in order to do my part for salvation. After reading Galatians, I was wrong. They were wrong. That is not Christianity. We are free. My friend was right. We really are free. Many of us were raised as a follower of some other religion where it was all about what you could do. Others were brought up as Christians, but unfortunately experienced not true Christianity. Now, maybe it was a Christianity that led to license to sin or Christianity that led to legalism. But friend, both are not real Christianity. Both are not what the true gospel promises. This is why Paul wrote the book of Galatians. We spent two months studying the book of Galatians, and today we are going to bring the whole book into focus. Paul says in Galatians chapter 1, beginning in verse 6, I am amazed that you are so quickly turning away from him who called you by the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel. Not that there is another gospel, but there are some who are troubling you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. Any gospel, but the true gospel is no gospel because there is no hope in it. That's what the book of Galatians is about. It's about the gospel of grace. Paul defends, explains, and applies the gospel of grace in this book. He endorses and explains our Christian freedom. This freedom is not a license to sin, but a life to be lived for Christ. We are free in Christ. We are no longer slaves to sin or ourselves. We are no longer playing the game of religion, but resting and living in God's grace. Paul writes in Galatians chapter 5, For freedom Christ set us free. Stand firm then, and don't submit again to a yoke of slavery. For you were called to be free, brothers and sisters. Only don't use this freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but serve one another through love. Freedom in Christ is not a license to sin, but a license to live for Christ. That is life to the fullest. And in case you want to add just a little bit of insurance salvation by legalism, the game of religion, remember Paul's words in Galatians chapter 3. So then, does God give you the Spirit and work miracles among you by your doing the works of the law? Or is it by believing what you heard? Just like Abraham who believed God, and it was credited to him as righteousness. Salvation comes through one person, Jesus Christ. When we add to or take away Christ's efficiency, we reject God's grace. May that never be true of us. So today, embrace God's grace for true Christian freedom. When you do, you will win the day and eternity. Thank you.